Okay, I'm gonna give this a shot. Throw some of my thoughts out there. Maybe people will partake in them. <laughs> I'm always trying to figure out how can I be the best me that I want to be. I want to be this great, kind, loving, uh, helpful person. I just don't know how to do it. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying my best to be the best person possible. I want to be kind to everybody. I want to be loving to everybody. I want to make everybody smile. I want to be your friend. I want to. Now, I know I can't make everybody like me, so that really doesn't matter. But I want everybody who interacts with me to feel great. I want you to feel fantastic. So I go through life a lot thinking about if I make somebody else happy, will I be happy? And that's a that's a that's a problem to solve because I know I can't make other people happy. I try. I want to see you smile, but I can't make you happy. Smile, damn it! It just it doesn't work, right? So just trying to figure out how to be the best human being that I can be. Um, it's challenging because no matter how isolated or how much in a bubble you, you live in, you still have to associate with other people and people are going to have thoughts about you. Now, what you think or don't think about me really doesn't matter, but I don't want to bring any negativity to you. So hopefully when you see me, you're like, hey, that's Charles. I'd like to see him. I don't want you to be like, man, I got that Charles again. So that's why I'm really careful when I talk to people, because I don't want to bring you pain. I want to bring you joy and pleasure. I want you to feel fantastic. I don't want you to feel used. Um, I don't really want you to ever feel like you owe me something. You don't owe me a click. You don't owe me a thumbs up. You don't owe me a view. You don't owe me a comment. You don't owe me anything. But what you should owe yourself is to find whatever brings you solace. You know, I would say peace, but some people don't want to be peaceful. You know, I would say joy, but maybe some people don't want joy. I would say love, but maybe some people don't want love. I try my best. I'm like, I, I can use generalities. I can generalize, but I try my best not to generalize. I don't want to say this is what you need to do for your life. You need to do what's right for your life, whatever it is for you. Me, I got to do what's right for me. And what I try to do every day is smile. I try to contemplate. I guess I meditate. And I just try to enjoy this, this moment because it, it may not be here tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow... People may not even know I exist. So while I'm in this moment right now, everything about what I'm trying to do is, is joyful. I want to have fun. I'm, I'm a big kid. That, that's that's what I am. I'm a big kid in a way because I just look at the world like it's amazing. You're amazing. Why do you think like that? Wow. Do you really like that? It's amazing to me. You know, and when I talk to people and they really don't express themselves well to me, I, I can get a little bit uh, confused by that. Uh, I can get a little bit frustrated just a little bit because I'm like, I don't know where you're coming from. So please explain. Now people get frustrated with me because I don't understand where they're coming from. But I don't get you. You don't make sense to me. I'm not saying that you don't make sense to you because what your thoughts are, you know them. I don't know your thoughts. I'm not telepathic. That's why sometimes when people tell me they know how all these people think or what other people are going to do, I'm like, you don't. You don't know how I think other than what I tell you and you don't know what I'm going to do. You don't know uh, what my button is or what is not. You can think you know what I can say it, but tomorrow I can be over it. So you don't know. We are dynamic. We are not static. We are changing. Now, no matter what you see, I hear on my face, but it was just a little bit shorter an hour ago. Just a little bit. <laughs> so don't think you know what's going on with me because we don't know. You know, you can't see the atoms and molecules and cells that make up my body. Maybe you can. Maybe you're Superman. You can break me down to my molecular structure and, and see my quarks of leptons um, are fading in and out of existence. <laughs> Maybe you can see a particle turn into a wave and a wave turn into a particle. Maybe you're that type of person, but uh, I'm not, you know, I'm a person who's just trying to learn, who's just trying to have a happy life, a smiling life, a great life. And hopefully when you listen to me, I can make you not worry about the ills of the world because there's always going to be problems. There's always going to be somebody who's hungry. There's always someone who's going to be grieving a loved one. There's always going to be somebody who didn't feel they got they just deserved. And truthfully, can we ever truly have justice? I mean, it's, it's subjective because most people, like I've said before, they don't want justice. You want revenge. And a lot of people want you to see it from their way. You don't have to see it from my way because I'm no more right than you are. Uh, I'm not. I, I, I can have my own philosophy that I go by. I can tell people that all men think like this and all women think like this and all short people or tall people think like this, but I can't. And, well, this is OK. I got to go off on a tangent. Hopefully it makes sense. We have to be really careful when we stop making distinctions because we have to 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 even name something. We have to separate it from something else. So we say you're an American. Then we say you're from California. Then you say you're from Santa Monica. Then you say you went to this high school. It's a distinction. All high schools are not the same. All states are not the same. 
all nations are not the same. But then when we say all people are the same, that's not true because this person doesn't look like that person. This person is uh, called quote unquote black or this person is called uh, Norwegian or this person is called Latino or whatever term you choose to use. Now, it's funny that we say distinctions uh, mean something when they when it's important to you. But then when you say uh, there's no difference between people because it's not important to you, that's the problem. So men and women are not the same. But some people, they're all, no, we think differently. Um, the, the person from Kenya doesn't think the same as somebody from Afghanistan, most likely. Not saying they don't have similarities, but they could be different. So that's where I think um, I, I, I'm, I'm amazed that how we try to uh, diminish the differences of people. Now, first, we are all humans. I, that's what I'm going to say. Before I think of myself being a black man from America who is descended from whatever, um, I'm going to tell you first that I'm a human and I love other people, but I know every other person just like me is unique in their own way. So I'm not going to say you're just like them because I don't know you. Now I can generalize and say this group does this or all Americans do that, but I'm not going to put that on you because you are you and who you are is uniquely unique. Now, if I, I can, I have say, you know, um, all Toyotas get good gas mileage. That's a general generalization. We can do that. That's usually because they're made from a factory and made the exact same way. But even then, they can have a recall. And this one could be the one that came from the group that didn't have a problem. So when we try to say everything is the same, instead of accepting that things have differences, uh, it stops us from solving problems. P people say they really want fairness. You really want to love people. You want humanity. But then you talk about hate. And then you talk about, I don't like this person or that person. And, like, this is what I believe. This is belief, believe, and I think this too. You don't have to like me. I want you to like me, but you can call me a, a dastardly man. You can say I'm despicable. You need to dis disintegrate. You need to decease whatever you're talking about. You know, I don't want to go too far with it. But in the big scheme of things, I like to say that. That's why I did a video called it. Um, it really doesn't matter. All that really matters to me is if you can smile today, if you can feel great. It's always going to be pain. It's always going to be somebody who, who you think is getting a, a, a better advantage. It's always going to be somebody who you, you think you're working harder than that has more than you. Um, I would say get rid of whatever. If I don't know if you feel like this, but if you feel um, negative envy or uh, jealousy or hate, uh, defeat it. Learn to congratulate people. Learn to clap for them, clap for them, or not clap to them, and try to associate with people that are going to help you get to where you want to go. But just be polite and accept rejection because sometimes people are never going to help you. It's going to be so many people who will never help me. He doesn't care anything about what Chuck says. What Chuck says is silly. Him and his Jedi robe. Because I like, I like the Force. I want you to, I want you to give up death sticks and reevaluate your life and rethink your life. <laughs> Open the door. Pull down your, your pants. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. But that's what I'm, that's what you're thinking about that for the ladies. Pull up, pull up your skirt. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm just being silly. But uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> you just gotta learn to be silly and don't take everything serious. I'm 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 serious in my di my dialogue, but I'm just I'm a silly man. I don't have the answers. I'm not more wealthy than other people. I'm I'm probably not where I should be. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm 47 years old, <laughs> and I still like to play video games and read fantasy books. It's, it's amazing to me, and I like anime. I do that. I do those type of things. However, I like to lift weights and I like to bounce the basketball. So I'm a big kid. And I'm a big kid who wants to explore the world and understand other people and bring some type of positivity and joy to you. Now, if I'm not bringing joy to you, but you also like the things you talk about, then you can tell me in the comments. Uh, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to name some people. Um, Kenya, thank you for motivating me to think about finance a lot because now I think about money. Not in the way other people do, but just trying to get my money to work more for me. And uh, the only thing I'm good at selling, if I'm selling anything, is happiness in myself. You know, I'm pretty great about. I'm pretty. See, I'm, I'm trying to be humble, but I'm arrogant a little bit. So if I really want to sell products, I'm like, wow, buy this. This is awesome. You need to buy this. You need to buy this. You need to buy this arc mouse. This flipsy flopsy super. Buy it. Buy it. Ooh. I, I can tell people stuff like that. But that's not what I'm about. I'm not really trying to sell you anything. And I understand the world we live in. That you need money. You need. Uh, 
to be able to have something to exchange good for services and vice versa, you know, whatever it may be. You need a medium of exchange. So I accept that. However, I'm not trying to get more than my fair share. I will accept what people want to give me. So if you want to give me something, give it to me. But I'm not trying to take it from you. And if you don't have to give, don't give. If you need help, let me know. Just don't try to play me for it. Because I'll, I'll gladly give a dollar to anyone. Uh, it's things I want, things I want to do, uh, you know, I, things I want to fix. It's time, you know, like I gotta go take my car to get service. And I don't feel like it because it's time. I got other stuff to do and I don't like to be tired. You know, I understand sometimes you're going to do it, but it doesn't mean I want to. <laughs> I want to play with the toys, baby. <laughs> I don't I haven't really played with toys, but maybe I still need to start again. I can't, I don't know. I, can, I imagine stuff like video games is like a replacement for toys. So you can just, it would be a, uh, uh, a medieval night did a game and you don't got to play with actually like choo 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 you don't got to do that i'm joking anyway i've said a lot this is just me being silly um I'm just sometimes i think it's just best to just be a kid and don't worry about things uh, you have to be responsible you have to uh you have to really think about life try your best not to hurt people but always retain that joy retain that joy of a kid that, that's all i can tell people i said a lot you know, return, return the joy of the kid. <laughs> and I can do it. Do it now. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Just pops up in my head. Good, and it can good. <laughs> well, all right, people. Yeah, I, I give it a shot. I just wanted to spew some things and make no sense, but it's fun for me. So, and that's what I, uh, let me fright finishes now. I'm rumbling on. I want to ramble. This is what YouTube is for me. YouTube is where I just come to listen to people and hopefully people are authentic. A lot of people aren't who they are. I'm telling you, this is me. Now, in any conversation, I'm going to be like this. Uh, and people that talk to me, I'm telling you, I can, I can say all type of platitudes. I can say all type of, um, <laughs> I got all type of sober kits for things. I can say uh, all type of names that shouldn't be used. But one thing I've learned is that the way that you say things, um, how you verbalize and express things can either attract people or uh, get people to reject you. Now, some people think tough love is a way. I'm not really opposed to tough love because I'm a military guy, trust me. Um, but you can be calm. And if people really listen to you, they'll pay attention. Sometimes I'm very direct and I'm very blunt and I know it can be abrasive, but I'm never trying to be sandpaper to you. <laughs> I'm not trying to scratch you into listening. You know, when you feel ready, when you really feel like listening to what I have to say, and if you think I make some sense, then come listen to me. If you don't, eh, it's great. Life goes on. I just want life to be great for you. I did a lot of talking. I think I'm going to go play um, Axum Verge or Axum Verge. Axum Verge, I don't know how to say it, but the game is fun. All right. All right. <laughs> This will probably be available tomorrow. Won't be the day, though. <laughs>